This is a VR simulation in DCS. The targets are empty ships with no people on board. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how the trim system works in the Vigan when releasing weapons and how the aircraft reacts to changes in weight and balance. Hello everyone, this is Roger. Thanks to uh, everyone that's following with me. Uh, we are about to get 2000 followers uh, in a short time. I'm so happy uh, about that. Uh, and uh, today it's almost Christmas and uh, New Year's Eve. And for that I have this decoration on my head. So I have some news for you. I have uh, had problems with my uh, music uh, that I've been uh, in my videos. Uh, you know, it has to be uh, royalty free music. But the news is that my best friend has a metal band and he will be supporting me with the music. They are called Omnispawn and I hope you like it because I like it. We're taking off virtually and for real. In the last episode, in the last second of my uh, video, I talked about uh, Cobra maneuvers and uh, the speed of sound and uh, flameouts and uh, well I pushed uh, Vigan uh, in a way that's uh, almost impossible but uh, you saw for yourself that uh, I succeeded in a way but not offic officially as a Cobra maneuver should uh, be so uh, we leave that for now. I like the, the thing that you can push the vegan uh, in a way. And I will continue with that uh, in a later session. But uh, now this third video I'm going to talk about. It's uh, kind of um, not the last video of vegan, But I will pause vegan in my uh, coming videos. Uh, because I want to show you um, F-18. It's the next uh, aircraft, uh, and uh, to give you a little bit teaser about the F-18, because the F-18 is uh, a more, more famous uh, around the world uh, aircraft, and uh, to, to get a little bit of uh, your attention in the more technical way, I'm going to show you the F-18 on a carrier, uh, and simply a carrier start. Okay. Let's focus on the next video, video number three. It's about weight and balance, about the trim system on Vigan. I'm going to explain a little bit about the RB04. How about the missile uh, and how it works? A little bit about the Vigan's radar. We're going to take a closer look at the Vigan trim system and what happens when you release a missile. Under the wings, as you can see, I'm carrying two RB-04 missiles. The RB-04E is a Swedish anti-ship missile that flies just about uh, above the surface. A classic sea skimmer. After release, it drops down to low altitude and follows a straight path towards the target. It uses its own active radar seeker to detect and lock onto the ship. And it's completely fire and forget. So I don't have to guide it off the launch. It stays just above the water to remain hard to detect. And once the radar locks onto the target, it continues all the way until impact. The 
Here we can see the two targets unmanned. Here we can see the radar sweeping. The ADS-37 uses a simple pulse radar, and the targets appear as dark spots against the brighter background. As the sweep passes over them, I can clearly see the ships on the display and confirm the bearing before the attack. When the first missile is released, the aircraft immediately becomes unbalanced and starts to roll to one side. At that point, I can either trim back to a neutral position or counter the roll manually with the control stick. When the second missile is released, the aircraft compensates back towards neutral. This is a clear example of how weight distribution and trim interact and affect the aircraft handling. To finish, we follow the missiles as they skim across the water all the way to the targets. It's a spectacular sight and a practical illustration of how the system works. It's slightly below the speed of sound. The altitude is about 5 to 9 meters. In the horizon, you can see the target number one. Splash one. Now we're following the missile number two. Splash 2. As a final note, this is a VR simulation in DCS with unmanned targets. The focus is on the technology. This was a demonstration of the Vigens trim system, weight and balance, and how the aircraft reacts during a missile mission. Because behind every flight, there is technology. Thank you for watching and I like to, if you have any question or a suggestion uh, for the next clip or in the future, you write in the comment. I like you to like and recommend this clip if you have any that's interested in what I do, you, have, you can just tell them. Uh, I, I would be much grateful. So uh, there are one thing. Uh, left I want to say and that is next video will be F-18 on a carrier and one more thing I'd like to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year